We're in Close, California. We're taking a look at a little remodel project we're going to do. Uh, this is a back to back bathroom. So, other side of that wall, one more bathroom. And uh, so, door opens in, and what we'd like to do is toilet is now sits against this wall, but of course the door hits it. So what they'd like to take is this long cabinet, which is well over six feet from wall to wall. They'd like to take and put the cabinet in the corner, probably a 30 inch. Uh, I would leave it there because you don't want to get too close over here. I mean, you certainly can. You can fill this wall back up. You can put maybe uh, three foot in for the toilet and then another three foot cabinet in here. Uh, I'm sorry, flop it. Three foot cabinet over there and then leave three feet in the clear for your toilet, which means this closet bin, this three inch waistline, it needs to come over here uh, into the into this space right here. And then of course the vent needs to get back put up through the roof, which means getting back over here and tying in somewhere wherever that vent is up through the roof. And so that's this bathroom uh, sink and toilet. And then in here, this is probably gonna stay about where it is. They're gonna dim it all the way back, but I would imagine what's gonna happen is this bench right here is gonna go away because it's it's leaving you with a very small opening into the shower. This is a little door and they had to build the wing wall there because the platform is there. Uh, what I would do is take this platform and put it over in the back corner. So the back corner, if you walk through here, this is the shower, this is the other bathroom. Um, they're gonna put a new tub in here which starts at that wall. So this way, 30 inches wide from this wall out, uh, 30, 32 and then a nice 20 inch deep, and then of course 60 inches long, which puts you at about this corner. So you can see if you were to take this corner of the wall, and it's only about uh, 15 inches out, let me see, yeah, about 15 inches out. And this, so this will get framed in, end a wall, and then of course valve goes here, drain goes here, and that creates the tub for there. And then of course you can build your little seating area right in here off of this wing wall, put it right here, put the shower valve on this wall, and it opens that up and it opens that up over there. So that's just that area. So shower drain would probably need to get really coated a little bit. After it's done, we'll figure out exactly where center is going to be for drainage purposes. Secondary line is going to have to come in based on where that two inch line is in the floor for the shower. We'll have to cut into that somewhere, not the arm, but the waistline to get a second drain over for this tub, which is going to be about right there, which is, that would be the end of the tub on that 45 degree wall. Uh, secondly, maybe we could get into the wall and do something with this drain line below the sink and get an arm over to here. But so quite extensive saw cutting and jackhammering, demoing, uh, you know, to get these two new fixtures in. And uh, so this becomes, this whole shower area becomes shower on that side, starting at about that 45 degree wall right here. And then of course tub coming this way all the way to this wall. And then identical, you can see from this side of the uh, bathrooms, <laughs> door opens up, <laughs> creepy. And there's the toilet. So again, uh, sink will be in the corner, probably about a three foot sink and then three foot for the toilet. And then you've got whatever, uh, you know, this this is obviously going to go away because you're going to be opening into the tub area. But this whole area right here, which is about three and a half feet wide from wall to there, um, stays. <clears throat> so you can get into your tub. Anyways, we wanted to document this. Uh, repair we did today was that Moen cartridge over there. It's an old Chateau style pull out hot for uh, on the left and cold on the right. And uh, got that installed, no dripping, no leaking, no running, so everything's good there outside of that. This inspection is done.